welcome to APD. Today we're going to talk you through how you can fit our outdoor weatherproof sockets. Now a quick disclaimer before I go any further, all of our sockets need to be installed by a qualified electrician. But we're going to give you a general overview today of how our sockets can be fit. So the tools you are going to be needing to fit our sockets. Number one, you need a good drill that has a hammer facility on it so you can drill it into a wall. You're going to need a 6mm uh, hammer drill bit. You're going to need a 4mm normal drill bit and a good screwdriver. Now luckily for you, our sockets come with an interchangeable screwdriver with a flat head and a posi head on. So that comes in the box uh, and all the other parts are actually in the box. We have our wire grommets, we have all the fixtures and the fittings that's needed. Uh, it also comes with a handy padlock as well, so you can secure your socket after it, after it has been fit. Okay, so I'm going to dive down onto the table now and just show you how to fit our sockets. Okay, so here are our range of sockets. We have a double socket, we have a double RCD socket, and we also have our single socket. Now, the case and the backs of both of our double sockets are pretty much identical. So we're just going to use one of these for today's video. So the first thing you want to do is drill a 4mm hole in each corner here where the screws are going to fit through and go into your wall or wherever, you, wherever you're going to fit it. So that is the first job. And then when you have that you need to obviously offer it up to where it is going to be fit. Now I've used this board today just, to, just for illustration purposes. You want to place it where it's going and you want to mark a hole through either onto the wall or onto your board wherever you're going to be fitting it. And then these holes you want to use your masonry drill bit which is a 6mm drill bit to drill these holes and then you just insert the raw plugs that come in the pack into these holes. And then it's just a case of simply screwing screwing your screws through the case and into the wall for a very solid, secure fix. So there you have it, the case is now fixed in to the wall, nice and secure. And once they're fixed in, you can take the rubber seals and you can go ahead and fix them over there. These just keep it an extra level of of watertight really, so you don't get any water coming through those screw holes. I know some people have told me they've actually put a bit of silicone on the back of these before they before they actually fit them up, so you can do that by all means. So they fit on there. Like so. So that's the case, fit through into your wall, nice and secure with those rubber seals. Okay, now it's time to fit our wire through the case and into the socket. Now, this is a, a good bit of advice which might save you a little bit of time. Make sure that you put your wire through the cable gland before you put it through the case. So many people have come to me and they're saying they haven't done that and they've had to undo the whole thing and start again so make sure you put your cable gland on now this next part is equally as important make sure you take off this little screw attachment on the back on the top of the grommet like so that is what's going to secure it to the case so you've got that on you slide it up your wire you pop out a little part of the case there so you create the hole and then what you want to do is feed that wire through the hole like so. Now when you have it in this position you want to put that that plastic nut back over the wire so it's on the inside of the box. Very very important part of this to make sure that it's like this. Okay now we'll keep this loose until we fit this um, into your socket. So that's the next stage we're going to fit these wires into the socket. Now as you can see very clearly here we have the earth sign we have the live sign and we have the neutral sign, okay? This is your live, blue is your neutral, and then this green and yellow is your earth. So let's fit them in right now. So you can now use the flat head of your screwdriver to go ahead 
and screw these wires up like so. The first one will go into your neutral or whichever way you want to you want to do it. Again, it's very important if you're doing this that you have all your electrics turned off until you've actually completed and fit the socket. So there we go, there's the live. We're going to screw that one in. Like so. And then here we have your neutral. So there you have it, all the wires are now securely fixed into the socket. So now this is the time you want to start feeding that wire back through until it's roughly, uh, roughly about there and then you want to slide your grommet up or your cable glander, whatever you want to call it and then you screw that plastic nut so it's nice and tight. Nice and tight, and that rubber seal squashes up. As you can see, we now have that plastic nut in place. Still keep this loose, don't tighten that up yet. So then you can go ahead and you can feed this back down so it's in the correct position where you need it. So there's a little bit of give in there. Now what you can do is you can now tighten this grommet here. And I'll show you this in a minute, you can see how that squashes up really, really nicely up to that wire and creates a really good seal, if you can see that there. So that's the wire in, okay. So the next stage we need to do, we need to fix the top case to the bottom case. So we need to open the top by pressing down here and that opens up the case. Now in the kit you'll find these screws and these just simply fit in here and tighten up and create that seal between the top case and the bottom case. And again you can use the screwdriver that is supplied with it and we can change that over to the posi and we can simply screw these up all the way until they're nice and tight and what you'll see as you screw them up this side rubber seal will start to squash nice and tightly to prevent any water getting into that socket and once that is done then you can also take the little caps which cover those screws in like so and they will just pop over here on all four screws and they will just snap in to give you that nice tight seal over your screw. And we also have the white caps as well which go over the socket holes where the screws are and they just fit over the top of these here and cover those in also. So there you have it and don't forget also you can use the padlock that comes with our sockets just to use here to, uh, to avoid electricity theft. Now, like I said, all of our sockets, the double sockets have the same backs on them, so the same principles apply. So I just want to show you the back of one of our RCD sockets, and here we have, you can see on this one, it's a slightly different back, but it's the same principle. We have a neutral, we have an earth, and we have a live. So you basically just feed the wires, corresponding live cable, to live terminal, earth cable to earth terminal and neutral cable to neutral terminal. And as you can see when you open this up here, we have those RCD trip switches already built in. So there you have it and again absolutely the same principle with the single sockets, just your four screws, fix it to your wall and again as you can see on this one we have the neutral, the live and the earth terminals, they would wire in exactly the same way as what's just been demonstrated.
So there you have it guys, I hope you found this video helpful and if you need any further support please don't hesitate to get in touch with us. And once again guys please don't forget that disclaimer, all of our electrical circuits need to be installed by a qualified electrician. So thanks for watching, take care.